Open it up for now. So we close our gate. So we're changing this because it's empty. Yeah, you can see it's can pretty see much it's empty. empty. Uh, Sometimes you can hear a little bit of gas expelling from it. That's usually the gas that's contained no. in here. That's right. Put the lid on to protect the top tap. to make sure that everybody knows that it is wide. And now this is where the skill comes in moving the cylinder from where it is. And it's kind of like a rolling motion. So Sean is rolling it out of the way very slowly. It's still pretty heavy even when it's empty and you don't want to be dropping it. So he's going to roll this one out of the way and replace it with a four one. You should probably add the uh, general rule of if it starts to fall, don't try to catch it, you'll hurt yourself. Yes, but just don't let it fall. That's why we go very slowly and carefully. With this rolling, you can see, you kind of roll it right on the edge. Very, very small motions. Put that one in place. These are the spare cylinders. They are kept safe behind this chain, but when we put them into position for the instrument, they will be tied up. They're just collected like this so that uh, the stores department can uh, collect them and return them easily. into position tie it in place you obviously need to tie this cylinder to something that's very stable and in particularly here we have made this frame or Sander has made this frame which is really I cannot move it like I cannot it's really solid I have seen cylinders attached to things that are movable which completely defeats the object now take the cap off this is sometimes tricky so that's why we have another really big spanner to whack it with if it won't open. Put it into position. I like to have it in position so that I can see it, what the pressures are from, from uh, the sitting position at the instrument. Now this screwing in is quite easy uh, but it really is a lot easier if you can hold the weight of the regulator in one hand and keeping it straight and you can practically screw it all the way in uh, and only need the spanner for a little bit of the work. Go tighten it up. Now I want you to see what happens when we turn on there. See immediately the difference between uh, full and empty. Thank you.